Hello students, welcome to Vyas Edification Quota. In this series of NCRT discussion, we'll continue further with Mathematics Class 11 and the chapter that we're dealing with is Conic Sections. It's time to deal with the miscellaneous exercise based on this particular chapter of Conic Sections. And this particular miscellaneous exercise over here is based on some applications of Conic Sections. Actually, we'll be seeing some real life examples related to real life examples and how can we use conic sections to derive equations distances lengths and all how to measure all of those things over here right so along with the questions yes we'll be taking a look at fond is related to that but those things have been already covered in the previous exercises along with these few questions we'll also see how the real life problems can be solved with conic sections right so the properties of conic sections yes they are important let's say uh parabolic reflective mirror that's one thing the parabolic curve is used for at various places it is used in one of the cases of let us say when you have the uh, tata sky antenna that's there on the rooftop right that is in the shape of a parabola actually similarly the property of ellipse that is sum of distances of any point on the ellipse from the two foci are same that is one of the properties of ellipse which is useful then for the hyperbola, we have similar property that is difference of distances from two fixed points is a constant on any for any point on the hyperbola, right? Those are some properties which we'll be using over here one by one. And let's see along with the questions, how do we use those properties? The first question says, if a parabolic reflector is 20 centimeter in diameter and 5 centimeter deep, find the focus, okay? So we have a parabolic reflect reflector, that's what the person says, okay? Let's draw a parabolic reflector, parabolic shape and a reflector will be basically this kind of a shape. This will look like a bowl, a bowl for that matter. If you see by placing it over here, this will look like a bowl, but reflector generally kept, is kept horizontal, let's say in this particular position, vertical position. And uh, in this case, this 20 centimeter in diameter, okay, this is the diameter that's mentioned as 20 centimeter. And depth is 5 centimeter, okay? The depth over here is 5 centimeter. That's what the person has mentioned. And which shape is parabola? This is the parabolic shape. That's what we are looking at. This is parabolic shape, okay? What else? So once we want to approach this particular question, find the focus. We are supposed to find the focus of this. Yes, we are supposed to find the focus of this. Focus will lie along the axis. And the axis, as you can see, will be passing through this center and this particular tip this will be the axis of this parabola okay this will be passing throughout like this and let's draw if this axis is x axis let's say the y axis can be taken at this particular point okay and we can have this as the vertex of parabola okay this is y axis so the coordinate axis have been designed by us right okay we have placed this particular parabolic reflective mirror in such a manner that x-axis and y-axis like this uh, lie like this and this is the vertex, right? Okay, or we have drawn this x-axis and y-axis in such a manner that the vertex lies at this particular point. Okay, so what do we have for this parabolic shape? The first and foremost thing that you identify is for this parabolic shape, the equation of the curve, equation of parabola will be, do you observe, this looks like a standard form, yes? Opening rightwards, Along the x-axis, the equation will be y square is equal to 4ax, okay? And if you can find this equation, then you can find the coordinates of focus, right? Focus will be at a comma 0. So, our target is to find a somehow. And for finding a, are we given some condition? So please observe, we are given one condition and what is that? We are given some dimensions, right? So this depth is 20 centimeter, this is 5 centimeter, means this particular point over here on the parabola will have x coordinate as 5, y coordinate as this distance which is half of this which is 10. So this parabola passes through this point 5 comma 10, yes. So if the parabola passes through 5 comma 10, we can say that 10 squared is equal to 4 times a times 5. What does that tell me? a equals 5. 100 upon 20 that will give me a equals 5 therefore focus will be at 5 comma 0 but coordinate axis have been introduced by us right? they were not given initially right so what you'll have is focus at 5 comma 0 implies focus at this particular point right 
20 centimeter diameter and 5 centimeter deep find the focus okay so focus actually lies at you can mention that focus actually lies at the center of this diameter basically or you can say that at 5 centimeter from this vertex at here right at the distance of 5 centimeter from this particular point over here that's what you can say so focus lies in the center of that circular part okay that's what you can observe that's what you can say and calculations are this that's all for this question over here